we have two cars traveling along the road and car A overtakes car B right at the start. But later on, because because car A is decelerating and then has a velocity less than car B, car B will catch up, which is what part B is referring to. To start with, we're asked to calculate the deceleration of car A. So we could play it safe here and write down SUVAT. Time taken during the deceleration is 30 seconds. The initial velocity is 20. And the final velocity is 8. So V equals U plus AT. 8 equals 20 plus 30 A. Rearrange A equals 8 minus 20 over 30. That's minus 12 over 30. Which becomes minus 0.4. So the deceleration is actually then 0.4 meters per second because you've already sort of got the negative aspect here. Now you might have just been able to do this by using the definition of acceleration. It's the change in speed over time. Um, that would have got you the same answer. So on to the next part. When does B uh, overtake A? Well, one thing we can do is work out how much distance each of them have traveled after 30 seconds. And rather than using SUVAT, I suggest here just using the area under the graph because it's, it's the same idea. So B will have traveled its constant 12 meters per second times the time. So 360 meters, whereas A would have traveled the area of this, um, this trapezium. So it's going to be a half times 20 plus 8 times 30. In fact, this is using S equals a half U plus V times T, but I'm just Ignoring that really and just you know, finding the area under the graph. So I'll put that in my calculator. Um, it's going to be a half of 28, which is 14, and then 14 times 30. So 420 meters. That means that B is going to have to go an extra 60 meters to catch up. And we'll call the point where it overtakes. Well, actually, I'll say that this distance, not distance, this, um, time interval is going to be capital T. I can just work in terms of that then. So I can work out B's distance between, so between 30 and 30 plus T, B travels, it's going to be 12 T and A travels 8t. Therefore, we require that this 12t, the distance that b has traveled, to equal 8t, the distance that a has traveled, plus that extra 60 to catch up. And that gives us an equation we can solve to work out the time, the extra time taken for, it to, for um, b to catch up. So 4t will equal 60 and t will equal 15. So determine the value of t when b overtakes a. This is the overall time period. So um, b overtakes a after or at. So it's 30 plus this 15 
45 seconds. Nice.